by Floss Tube. This is Karen with KV Studio Creations. And Jason with Karen. <clears throat> um, so we have a lot today. Um, so we're going to start with starts and finishes. Because um, I kind of put them all together. So last time I've been working on this, which is a bookmark I made from the 100 Owls um, patterned by Owl Force Embroidery. And this is on a 14 count cream Ada. So I got that finished, got the little owls in. And then I started another one and finished it. So once again, from the 100 Owls. And this is on 16 count picture this plus Mystic Ada. And once again, stitched with warts. And then I also started, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. This is a freebie from Shannon Christine Designs. And it's the Snow Globe Cookie. And it's on 18 count picture this plus Heartland Ada. So I mostly just did the white. So that is, <clears throat> yes. So now whips, works in progress. Um, this is change by Across the Stitch and I will insert a picture of what it will look like. I am getting close. Um, what I've been doing is just working on um, one color on each side and then working on the letter some. So I think sometime in February I will probably get this finished. It's getting there. Um, the next one is Elizabeth Bennett by Twin Peaks Primitive, and I'll insert the picture. Um, and I'm stitching this on some 14 count hand dyed Ada using a twall C823. Is this the up? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So it's just the top of her head at this point, and I'm not going to do the entire body. I'm just going to I'm going to cut it off kind of below where the book is, but. Um, because the book's the important part. <laughs> yes, yes, it is a very important part. And I just don't want to do that big long skirt, nor do I have a big enough piece of fabric for that. Um, the next is His Name is Jesus by Martha Pilgrim, Joyful Expressions. And I'm getting close on this one. I think I'm at like 85%. But I have reached the top corner over here. I have finished the center. I just need to work over my way here. And I don't remember if I said this is on, where is it? 14 count picture this plus heroic Ada. And I'm stitching it in a wall. So I'm close. I'm getting close. It's looking so good. <clears throat> um, so once again, I'll probably finish that. I don't know, maybe January, maybe February. I'm going to have some finishes coming up. Because this next one Unicorn in, Cap in Captivity by Wild Violet Cross Stitch on 16 Count Picture This Plus Mystic Ada. I want to have finished before my birthday in February so I can do a new birthday start because this was my birthday start for 2023. But I just got to finish this uh, fence and finish the bottom of the um, unicorn. Yeah, unicorn. So I'm getting close. I think I might be like 80% done with that one. So close. It's close. So the last work in progress to show you is my tracker bookshelf on 28 count old Dame Clay Joblin. And I've had a lot of fun doing this this year. Um, I was going to do a new version next year. I have not got it finished designing. Plus life is super crazy right now. So I don't think I'm going to do this again next year. Um, if you want this pattern, you can still let me know. I don't know when I'll get, get it actually released, but if you want it, I will send it to you for free at this point. Um, so I just have three more books to go. It's almost done. Um, I had a 2023 at the top, and then, I don't know if you want to flip this over, I um, did a key as well. So, um, yeah, so then I could always remember in future years when I don't remember what all these colors mean, um, I can have it. So my thought is, is I'll probably finish it as a wall hanging, and I will fold this part up, and then add fabric to finish out the back. So that is all the works in progress. Fully finished objects, Christmas presents. We are going to insert a video here showing those. Movie magic. <laughs> so we have some gifts. gifts to show. So fully finishes. So this 
we I stitched for Jason's sister. For my sister. She um, loves her dog a lot, and so... And this pattern yeah. is uh, Paws and Plaid by Georgia Girl Stitching, um, which I will link below. Um, so I did the green colorway, and it's on 18 count white idea. And it's so pretty! It's going to make such a nice ornament. And then for Jason's parents, um, and I'll be inserting... Excuse me. I'll insert some pictures. Um, so of like the stitch, yeah. like as it was stitched. Right, so, well, so this is this oh you're gonna insert pictures of holly oh i wasn't i could though oh <laughs> <laughs> so so okay my mom and dad were able to get a little pup, puppy this year and it's a little lab dog i can't remember yorkie -poo. it's yorkie poo and karen took what's the name of the pattern so these are by la selva design and one is yorkie uh santa pattern and the other is his boxer pattern or her i'm not sure Who but anyway La Selva designs you modified them yes to come up with this little pattern because it looks a lot like my parents new dog yes and my mom's gonna love it she's just gonna love this ornament so yeah did you have anything else you want oh it's oh, stitched it's on 18, 18 count yeah. white data yep 18 count white data and yeah so just super adorable looks almost exactly like the puppy and then this one is also from La Selva designs and this is because my dad is weird. <laughs> uh, do you want to say the name without... Is, is it just that? Yeah. Okay. So, my dad, he has hobbies in his old age. <laughs> and the hobby he's currently hyper fixated <laughs> on is catching the raccoons out of the backyard. <laughs> and so, we made him a raccoon with a Santa hat. Which is by La Selva as well? Yeah. And this one comes with three different options. So I'll sort of picture that shows all three options. But I just did this as called for, you know. Because it was perfect as is. Yeah. So my dad's going to love it. And it's on 14 count white ADA. Yeah. And yeah. So another yeah. insert. These. Oh, I was so about to start going, hello, Flies <laughs> too. <laughs> so let's, let's show this one first because it's over here. So this one is not fully finished yet. I hope to finish it today or another day. But I'm just going to show it now. Oh, dang it, I didn't look up the name. I will insert what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up the fabric. It's on some 16 count natural Ada. Um, I think it's like just called BB-8 in Ray, and it's by um, a Ukrainian designer, I believe. I got it off Etsy, but I will definitely insert the name because I forgot to look that up. And it's so beautiful. But I have the frame. Like, I just need to frame it. But So, like, here, we can just put it in the frame like <laughs> this, and you can see it. And look at how beautiful it is, folks. <laughs> You just have to, like, envision, like, use your so imagination. I'll, I'll insert a picture. Um, I just, I didn't want to record a separate insert just for that one that I didn't get done. Um, so these next two are by Georgia Girl Stitching. And I think, oh, dang it. This is Paws and Plaid. And I think this is Horseshoe and Plaid is the name. Um, They're so cute. So to get them to fit in these little frames that I had, I stitched them on 11 count Ada and I did four strands. Um, and I made a mistake on the heart over here. So I ended up just, I actually accidentally stitched it in this color. And it was the first thing I stitched because I just finished this one. Um, not realizing it needs to be a different color for this one. So I just ended up stitching white on top of the, yeah. I didn't even notice. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping no one will notice, but... I was frustrated at the time. But. Well, everyone here is going to notice because you said it. Well, that's okay. And the person you're giving it to will definitely not notice. Although I think she does watch my videos, so she might notice. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I think she'll still be okay with it. So this is, oh, dang it. What's the name of it? This is called Pretty Swan Aperture Card Kit. And it's by Doreen Jones, and it came in Cross Stitch Crazy. Um, and I started this a long time ago, and I was frustrated with it because the pattern's really small. Um, and but it turned out so pretty. It's hard to see the symbols behind the back stitching, and the floss lengths are really short. And I was I was getting close to UFOing it. But then Jason suggested I stitch it for my sister as a present, and I was like, you know what, I can do that. So I enlarged the pattern. I dealt with the short strands. I did the back stitching. It's done. And it looks so good, Karen. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. And so I, I and I love this frame with it. And I just like it's supposed to be a card. So this is that's actually a card. But I just used it as like the frame, you know. Like it's a mat, so and it looks so pretty. I think she'll like that. Um, oh, she she, will. she loves Swan Princess stuff. So, um, so this next one 
is by Sprouting Lupine and it's called Greenwashing. It came in the Earth Day bundle that the Stitches Collective did, but it's now available in her Etsy shop too. Um, and I stitched this on 32 count cream. Oh, I think it's Joblin. Joblin Lugana. Yeah, it looks like Joblin. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Joblin. Um, it'll be in my show notes, which will be linked below. Um, I looked this so up before. The, the movie theme of too. this insert is don't listen to <laughs> us, just read the show notes. <laughs> I did look all this up, but I don't have my actual written notes. This is why I have actual written notes because I, my memory is not that great. Um, but yeah, so I stitched this. And my sister loves plant stuff, so I thought this would be perfect for her. Um, yeah. Very lovely. Also, here's the bag. Don't! <laughs> <sighs> but it's good to show that because, like, I didn't want to end up putting the, the felt on the back, so I just decided this was good enough, and I think it will be good enough. So I'm just saying, like, you don't always have to make it perfect. Just you're saying. saying you're saying this isn't perfect. I'm saying that is not perfect. <laughs> this is this is perfect. This is perfect because look, this is the side the face is out. Like you're hanging <laughs> on the wall. This is touching the wall, and it's nobody's gonna see this. Okay. Good. You are so self-critical. <laughs> so this next one is from Cross Stitcher, November 2018, and the design is by Tiny Modernist. And it's called. It's one of the ones in the Baby It's Cold Outside series. Yeah. Um, but so it's this one right here, but I made some changes. So I changed all the colors. Um, I changed her hair to be longer because this is for my sister and she has long hair. And then, um, I put their first Christmas. It's, it's, it's too late. <laughs> That's fine. I showed their wedding thing, like, okay. with all the information, like, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then there was extra space at the bottom, so I just put some uh, ribbon and, and a bow to fill the extra space at the they bottom. They look so cute. So, yeah. And I cut the bow. He did cut the ends of the bow, because I was like, I don't know how long to make these thingies. Did you notice that I made them pointed? I did notice you made them pointed. Oh, good, good. You noticed the extra work I put in, because it was really annoying cutting those ribbons. They did <laughs> not want to get cut. Ah! Okay, so this next one is from this book, which I love. This was one of the first Crossage books I ever bought, Crossage Fairies. Had the next coupon. two are from this. Yes. So, um, let me get to the right page. So this won't show all of them, but, so there's an Autumn's Fairy section. Um, and there's lots of different fairies. So I originally started this years ago as a wedding gift for some friends who are engaged, but they broke up. So I switched this one and this one, and I changed her hair to red to match my friend. Um, but then... I just sat like this was stitched those two were stitched before I met Jason so like 12 plus years 12, ago yeah more like than 12 a long time ago this is just sat and I had this idea to do more fairies but I could never get myself to do it because I was like I'm gonna think about them every time I see it I don't know I don't know but then my sister-in-law mentioned that she would like uh more hand <laughs> towels um I stitched her a hand towel previously so I decided I would finish it as a Christmas present for her so I just chose some fairies <laughs> don't do that it smells so good. Why does it smell good? I don't know. You tell me why it smells good. It smells know. like my grandma's house. <laughs> I, was, I was like, it's been stored for 12 years. Like, <laughs> I wasn't into I was just being silly. I was like, let me put forward each one of them so you could see them no, individually. I feel like we need to wash it, but then again, it's going to go to her house with her five kids, and then they're going to have to wash it immediately anyways. Anyways, so I don't, I, I put, used these leaves from it. I thought about changing the colors, but I just, I just did the leaves as they were charted. They're fine. Um, I did change the um, face color. I couldn't find the floss, so I just chose a different But color. it looks wonderful, and it's a great Christmas present. I also added in some three-quarter stitches because this is the kind of pattern where it doesn't have three-quarter stitches, but it has the back stitching across that's like three-quarter stitches, so I did change that. And this next one is from the Spring Fairies. Because nothing Except, says baby's first Christmas like a spring fairy. But that's why I changed the colors. And these are all, I don't know if I said, but these are all by Leslie Tier, these designs. Not the entire book, but these little fairy designs. So it's fine if you should, I don't think it's the end of the world if you show the name. But well, mm. no, because, well, they're a little protective about their kids' presence online. That's the reason why I'm paying attention to this one. Well, I mean, I'm going to be showing a picture of it online. <laughs> <laughs> um, and posting it on Instagram and stuff. But anyways, so... The sister-in-law that I did that for, I do one of these fairies from this book and make it into a first Christmas gift for all her 
kids, and she had a baby this year, so. Oh, excuse me. This is another fairy. And so, yeah, change the colors. And, and yeah. yeah. Um, design and shop. I have been working on model stitching and designing things, but I don't wait, have Wait, wait, were all of these in yep. inserts? Oh. Oh, we don't have to record any of those. Yay. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired today. Yeah. <clears throat> so my coupon code for my Etsy shop is still good. FlossTube50. And that, I believe, is 50% off. I'm pretty sure that's 50% off. Um, so if you want to, um, that's probably going to go through my birthday in mid-February. So, yeah. Um, haul. We have inserts for some of that. So I'll insert that here. More movie magic. <clears throat> So you might notice that Jason is missing. He's at work. I got this order from one, three, one, two, three stitch. I want to start using things now. So I decided to um, do a short clip. So one, I got a bunch of DMC floss. This is to kit up some model stitches that I will hopefully have some model stitches stitch. So I just needed a bunch of colors for that. I also um, decided to throw on this fabric. It is 16 count woodland Ada by Picture This Plus. And I've been eyeing this fabric for a long time and it's usually been out of stock. It's not quite showing, it's not quite as blue green, but I have a pattern that I want to design that this fabric would be perfect for. I haven't designed it yet, but I decided to buy the fabric since it was in stock. So, and then lastly, I got these mini stretcher bars. And this is really what I wanted to start with today. So I've seen people where you use this for when you're stitching on perforated paper. So I have a mouse stitch I want to start the colors pulled it's just a Christmas one but the idea is is that you these make a square and then you tack the perforated paper to it and then it's holds it and I especially wanted to try it because my case creation lap stand is now all finished put together I'd worked on it some but I was overwhelmed and I just couldn't deal with it anymore so my dad finished it up for me, he assembled it. So I'm going to try this out today. I might try to record like a little video for social media, sticking here, I don't know, probably social media, but, um, cause I haven't done many reels or TikToks recently, um, showing me trying this out, but I wanted to show these things before I started using them. So that's all. So uh, I got some supplies from Witchel. <laughs> I should have dumped this out before. Some started. supplies, yes. Just <laughs> three or four thousand, yes. So the first, we're going to do this because it's the biggest. A frame. So just another color. It wasn't quite the color I expected it to be, but that's why I get the physical thing so I can see it. It's still... What a, did you expect? I expected it to be lighter. Oh, okay. It's still a really pretty blue, and I will oh, definitely very use pretty it. Blue. But I was expecting a lighter blue. And then next we have... So we have a bunch of Ada and some... I think linen as well. So we have Ada City French Cafe Mocha. I don't know if that's what CTY stands for or not, but I said Country, city. maybe? Country, probably. probably. Nope, that's because CNTRY is country. Oh. Because this is Ada Country French Latte. They could be, the other one could be country and they just didn't have as much room. Maybe. And then we have Ada Ant White. Antique White. Oh, Antique White. And then this is Antique White in a different count. <gasps> yes, that one was... Uh, probably 16 16 count and this one is 14 count and this one is Ada white chocolate 14 count and then we have mm -hmm. Ada sandstone tea dyed 14 count and then we have Ada natural light 14 count am I doing that? okay I'm yeah. doing this where you guys can see it okay good and then I have Rustico mm -hmm. Mushroom 28 count. I do like that color. It's really Holy pretty. Holy moly, that is tight. Um, and then we have Joblin Coffee. Joblin? Mm -hmm. Joblin Coffee 28 count. And I actually already have some of that, but I've used some of it, and I have more patterns I want to stitch on it because it's a really pretty color. And then Linen Sandstone Tea Dye 32 count. So, a lot of neutrals. Um, and then... We got beads! Beads! All the beads! I'm not sure why they put them in just, uh, like, usually they just put them all in one bag. I don't know why they put them in three bags, but that's okay. And then we got some more perforated paper. So and by we, she means she. And this is all colors I already have, um, but I am... Uh, working on a 
pattern that requires perforated uh, paper. Yeah, I'm working on some patterns that require perforated, perforated paper, and I needed more of these colors. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming, or another insert. <laughs> we shall see with the editing magic. Woo! Uh, oh, and then I was going to show my haul. So this video that is going to get edited is just going to be it's gonna be all over the place. All over. So I placed another order to one, two, three stitch, um, because I needed some more supplies for the mile stitches. I'm kidding up. And then my mom gave me my Christmas money early so I could go ahead and order the supplies for the Bella Filipina mermaid sal, which I'm going to be starting on my birthday in February, but I didn't have the beads or the krynic. Well, I had one krynic. So, uh, so I got krynic. And these beads are the beads for my model stitches as well as the beads for Bella Filipina. Plus one for So Cousin many. Bella. So many. So lots of beads. I need to sort it out. My mom wanted me to have something to open, so I'm going to pull out the stuff for the Bella Filipina, like the stuff I bought with the money she gave me, and put that in a... I, there's a bag over there. I'm just going to stick it in a gift bag. And Yes, I said, Jason got a gift in that. I'm just going to stick it in there. I got a gift in that? I'm pretty sure. Because it's not a Just Games bag. Oh, I got a gift one time a long time ago in it. I don't know. It's been on the table for a couple weeks, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what was in here? What came in here? I don't think this was me. Okay, well, I don't know where it came from then. Anyways, I'm thinking just throw them in there and then have it so my mom can open it on Christmas. Or I can open it oh, in front of my mom yes, on Christmas. Oh, yes, I got a gift in here. I okay. know what was in here. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> so I think that's all for this insert. Hopefully the next thing... Did you show these? Oh, I don't know if I did. That's also floss for the for the mouse switches. Yes. So that's all for now. See ya. Return to our regularly scheduled programming. Woo! Editing magic. <clears throat> um, and then so I did attend the Jingle Ball. Um, it seems so long ago now. Um, but that was a lot of fun, and they gave some freebies, so I got freebies. I didn't buy anything, but I did um get download all the freebies. Um, and yeah, the Jingle Ball was fun. I didn't really do the group stitching rooms. I jumped into a couple and got overwhelmed and jumped back out. But I enjoyed the author meet and greet things where the authors were talking about... Designer meet and greet? Y yes, designer. Sorry. I'm so used to author meet and greets. I'm not used to just saying designer. Um, so the designer meet and greets where they would answer questions that people typed in the comments. And I really enjoyed that. And then I enjoyed the whip speed dating where it's basically you had five minutes to get to know a person. So that, I really enjoyed that as well. And I met someone who watches me. I was going to write down her name. I, You know who you are. Thank you. I, it was fun to meet someone who actually knew who I was. Like, that was just fun. I did not expect that. Okay, so Christmas presents. I got some stitchy Christmas presents. So I put some things on there that I wouldn't normally buy for myself that I want, but I just, not a priority. So I got some of these color variations from DMC. I got these pretty scissors. They've got butterflies on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um... Oh, hey, I didn't realize they were so easy to pull out. Like, a lot of my scissors I've had for years and years and years. So, it's fun to get, like, a new pair of scissors. And then I got some of these sulky 12 white cottons. People are constantly talking about it, I feel like, on FlossTube. Not constantly, but it's frequently mentioned on FlossTube. So, I thought I'd try some out. It doesn't, they say you only need one strand, and it really doesn't look that much thicker to me than DMC, like a strand of DMC. So, I'll do some experimenting with it, but... Yeah. And then I showed this in the haul, but I'm going to show it again. Um, my mom paid for me to get um, the Krynik and beads for what's going to be my birthday start, the Bella Filipina Mermaid Cell that just finished releasing. And I'll insert a picture of what that is because the last part did come out. So, yeah. Ooh, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty. And I'm looking forward to start that, starting that for my birthday. So, now to giveaway. Okay, so in my fully finishes, I fully finished this. So this is Pretty Swan by um, Doreen Jones. And it came as a kit, so you're not going to get the kit, but you would get the floss that's left over and the pattern. So if you want that, say Swan. Oh, and the rules. Um, be over 18... Don't say giveaway or free or anything like that. Um, I will announce the winner in the next video. And um, whoever wins will win as many items as they want from 
what they what they said they wanted. Um, and then anything that isn't claimed, if someone else said they wanted it, I'll put on a list to give to them in a future giveaway if they win another giveaway. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, this next one I actually planned to give away last year, but I forgot. Um, so I stitched this for my mom. It was given to me partially finished. Um, it's this blessed nativity sampler. Um, so it'll come with the pattern. It will come with what threads are left. There's not a ton of threads left, but, um, it will come with the threads, um, and the pattern. So you, there probably be enough to do like certain motifs, but not the entire pattern again, but you could also figure out your own colors because this is very eighties colors. I feel like, um, you can modernize it or just stitch parts of it. But so that is giveaway two and you can say nativity for that one. And then I've got some leaflets. So this is scriptures. It's got these little pretty scripture sayings. And let me see, I think there's some more in the center. Pictures. So if you want that one, say scripture. This next, next one is a book of Ziggy. Um, patterns. And then there's some in the center. So just a lot of different ones with little sayings on them. And then this last one is angels. Um, it's got just like lots of different angels and they're really pretty. I just don't know that I'll ever get to them. So. so let us know if you want angels, Ziggy, scriptures, nativity, or swamp. <clears throat> and I don't know if we'll get a video done in January. I'm hoping to get one at the end of January, but January is going to be very busy. <laughs> So the next video may not be till the beginning of February, but definitely going to try to get one in January, but it just may not happen. Be sure to like and subscribe <laughs> and then ring the bell to get notified of when we post next. Although and people, then you won't have say, to worry. People say push on the ring the bell, but I've noticed the ring the bell, you, you, if you just click on it, it, I think it moves to like, I can't remember the word, but it's like they pick what to do, but then you can do like the drop down and select all. So, mm -hmm. Not that you want to, but if you want to, you're welcome to. Um, so life updates. It's been busy. Like I said, we've had Thanksgiving. We've had Christmas. We did decorate for Christmas. We said we, in our last video, we weren't sure if we would, but we put up our tree and it's been wonderful. Um, Karen needed the boost. Yeah. The seasonal depression this year has been a little worse. So um, having that Christmas tree up has been nice. Um, at church, um, I got a different assignment. So I am now what is called the primary president, which is the organization over the children in the congregation. So that's kept me busy and will continue to keep me busy. Um, oh, and then my sister-in-law's father died. And so we have been babysitting their kids extra um, as she's dealt with things with that. Um, and then we've just been sick. We've had colds. That's why Jason hasn't talked that much today. <laughs> um, so... <clears throat> yeah, work's been busy for both of us as well. So, yeah. But we had a wonderful Christmas. Um, our church's uh, Christmas, on Christmas Eve, the church service was so good. Um, probably one of the best I've seen. Jason sang. Um, <laughs> and it was wonderful. Despite his cold, it still sounded really good. Um, and, yeah. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We hope you have a wonderful New Year. We look forward to this next year. Happy stitching! Happy stitching! Hi, Flosstube. <laughs> this is Jason with KEV Studio Creations. <laughs> and Karen with Jason. This is an insert, but I thought it'd be funny. Um, so those are the fin fully finishes. And then some haul to show. Do we want to do that as a separate video? Or are you just going to editing magic and put it where it's supposed I'm to sure be? I'm sure I'll just editing magic it. <laughs> editing magic! I'm sure that's going to go into the bloopers or something. <laughs> Probably.